Good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's doing okay this morning. It's Saturday, and well, you know, like I said yesterday, it's the same as Monday. Uh, the only days that are different are days that rain. That's the only days that are different. Otherwise, we're gonna be getting it. So, yeah. So, a couple things I got going on. Uh, when well, we're supposed to cut the 10 acre airstrip tomorrow but I don't think I'm going to do it um, because well I got more issues man you know uh, I got you know with hat you know with both the X marks in the shop I got the loaner mower the belt popped off that ferris and the belt on that ferris uh, it's kind of complicated and extremely hard to get to. Well, it's got two belts on the on the on the deck. Well, one of them's a what they call a bull belt. That's what I call it. Uh, and the bull belt <clears throat> basically goes from the clutch to a double pulley on the on the deck, right? And you guys been out here a while, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, and what that does, I guess, is it minimizes. Uh, you know belt breakage you know but to have one long belt going from the back of the, the back of the machine underneath the deck I mean underneath the machine all the way to the front around the whole deck and then back that's a pretty big belt and uh, so there's two belts you got the bull belt and that's the one that popped off it popped off of one of the pulleys up underneath the it's it's one of the more well it's, it's it's the most complex belt system that i've ever seen on a mower uh you know with it being a a diesel a cat diesel engine you know uh industrial ferris mower it built a little bit different than the mowers of today right <clears throat> so yeah i'm uh so anyway, the, the I haven't put the belt back on the Ferris yet. Uh, by the time we got done yesterday, y'all, I was beat, man. I mean, beat, man. Uh, and I'm working a lot. I'm working every day, and that's okay, because I don't mind working. Uh, but yeah, so we had a really good week. You know, uh, Zach showed up every day. Uh, Katie showed up as needed, and yeah, uh, we we uh, we did good. So let's see. So today it's just gonna be me and Anthony. You know, uh, I gotta I gotta let Zach have uh, a day or two off because he'll get burned out, and then. And then he'll 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 be missing days or whatever. So he's been doing real good as far as coming to work and doing the work and and, and everything. He's been on time and, and a little bit early the last couple of weeks. So that's been a bit of blessing for sure. Uh, I'm very thankful that things kind of calmed down a little bit for him. So, but he ain't really had a whole lot of money. But yesterday he got a nice check. So you know. Money will make people get stupid. Y'all know that. So, yeah. So, I appreciate all the comments on the video yesterday. You know, uh, I wasn't trying to call Spencer out or nothing. I was just wondering why uh, he ain't responded to uh, any to any message or anything. Uh, you know. But... That's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, if he, maybe he's just busy. I don't know. But he did say, but he did say that he wanted to sell the mower, and he and he did say that he would take 14k or best offer. So, you know, I'll buy it. You know, if if, if I can uh, get in touch with him and kind of just talk, just uh, 
talk to him about the, the specs and uh, how can I, I mean, I, I'm not even opposed to driving up there if I have to. Uh, I would probably be willing to do that. I might come out better just having it shipped to me. But, you know, I don't know. They might think that I'm just, uh, you know, bullcrapping. But I'm a doer, y'all. I, I mean, I ain't gonna sit here and come on YouTube and talk on my channel about, you know, do what you say you're gonna do and all that, and then me just be blowing smoke. If I can get that mower for, for uh, you know, 13.5 to 14K with, with the twill tires, I'll buy it, straight up. Cash money, you know. And I'll do whatever I have to do to facilitate that, you know. Uh, I don't know what it would cost to get it shipped from Ohio to here. But I don't, I mean, how much could it cost? It cost a thousand dollars? If it cost me, I, I don't know, it might cost that much. I have no idea. Uh, it can be done though. It would just save me time. It wouldn't cost me a thousand to go get it, but it would cost, it would take me way out of my routine. Uh, and I would have to really, uh, well, I had to really push through to, to do that, right? I had to drive all night, you know, pulling a trailer. I mean, I'd do it though, I guess. But I'm picking up Anthony, and we're gonna go do, we got, let's see, make sure. We got uh, one in Fairville, we're gonna do the same route we did two weeks ago. So, yeah. And that's going to, you know, shore up the week. Now, I talked to the lady yesterday afternoon about the 50-acre thing. And she understands that I'm not going to want to do the regular maintenance over there on the manicured lawn part. I'm trying to explain to her how things, from, my, from me being doing this a while and her not really knowing a lot about the way things are done. And not that my way is the right way, but just the way that that I would think that most landscapers are, do stuff. I just basically told her, I said, anybody that's gonna be doing the interior part of the, of the grass there on both the properties, they are probably not gonna to wanna to cut the fields. And anybody cutting the fields is probably not gonna to wanna to do the interior. The interior is gonna take a lot of labor. And I don't have a lot of labor. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to get over there and spend three days, you know, uh, getting everything in order that they've done let slip. So, you know, on an ongoing thing, I told her I would do the best I can to help her get the property in order before the end of the month, but I ain't promised her nothing. I'm gonna have to go over there. I'm gonna go over there and look at it tomorrow. I'm gonna meet with her in the morning over there okay y'all so we're over here uh, on this first one i done cut the front and y'all can see that a lot of times with with grab we talk about the mowers all the time right and we talk about the cut quality and this and that and that and this and and you know which one's better for this which one's better for that well the biggest thing with the mowers and although there are some differences the biggest thing is the type of grass the wetness of the grass and uh, the grade and all. Uh, Y'all can see usually the skag mower over here won't clump it like this, but this is this is from the skag, okay? Now, it's from the tiger cat, the loner mower, but you see it didn't leave any stragglers, but it left a bunch of clumps. And that is, uh, that's untypical of the skag mower on most properties. Uh, now the grass is wet and all that, but what we'll do now, and if y'all remember the last time I was here, I was on the X mark, it did the same thing. So, you see what I'm saying? The X mark mower clumps it, the skag mower clumps it. Even though the skag disperses the grass better, it, over here, it, you know, it, it didn't. Uh, you see it. But it has everything to do with, well, the moisture in the grass you know uh, 
and how low you're cutting it and the, the mower deck and the type of grass and the the uh, grade line so i just kind of wanted to show y'all that this skag did this and y'all i hope y'all can see the clumps because i can and we will uh run over that again you know uh and uh and get rid of it now last two weeks ago we was here i was on the x mark and y'all know i dropped the deck all the way down turned the blades off dropped the deck all the way down and i pushed a lot of the grass to the woods over there well the x mark deck does that better than the skag deck because the skag deck is well it has the angle on the front so a lot of time when you push it you see what happens you see this angle here see the x mark deck is vertical the angle here uh makes it where the grass just goes up on top of the deck it'll move it but you have to clean off the deck too you're pretty much just scooping it up with the deck uh yeah so we'll let this sit for a minute let the clippings get done uh, i'm gonna move my truck i bring my truck i park it on the driveway to begin with and then i bring the truck on around here and i park the truck right here now when I do that, I gotta make sure I stay out of this ditch right here because if you un if you got the ramp down, see how steep the ramp is right now? That is not that's not good. If you get over here and you park the truck right here and the ramp is in this low gully here, I don't know if y'all can see that, then the ramp is sitting like this and it's real steep. Only one you want to make sure that your ramp is touching the ground on both ends. See what I'm saying? Uh, you don't want to have one side not touching and the other side touching uh, because then that'll bend your ramp. So, yeah. I'm glad to have Anthony out here. Out here. It's refreshing to have him out here. Uh, I love me some Anthony, man. He does a good job. He doesn't have a whole lot of baggage or nothing. He just does a good job, man. Okay, y'all, the battery's fixing to go dead in the camera, man. I don't know what's up with it. The GoPro is, uh, but we're gonna hit run over this a couple more times, try to get the grass toward the driveway, and then from the driveway, we'll blow it across there uh, with the backpack blower. So, yeah. Uh, this mower right here has been a lifesaver, though. A lifesaver, for sure. But, yeah. All right, y'all, I gotta put the camera up, man. We, we, we uh, it looks like it might rain. Okay, y'all. So I kind of wanted to do a little comparison on these mowers uh, while uh, while I got both of them. But we're gonna do a cut quality test on this grass right here. Uh, the biggest difference in this one right here is the distance from right here to right here. You got about you, you got about four or five more inches than right here. Uh, it's 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 pretty significant so you got more feet room on this one and this is the skag turf tiger you know and this is the skag the tiger cat i don't know what year it is but it's old but yeah this this mower's had a lot but it's built good look how big the hydraulic connections are i mean I, the hydraulic lines on this thing are as big as on the bobcat this thing was built pretty good uh it cuts great man uh yeah uh there's a lot of things i like about it better than than the new so you got the young gun here right and then you got the old school here and this is a 52 inch deck with 31 vanguard and this is uh, a 60 inch deck i don't even know what it is. it's got the the 730 the fx 730 i want to say it's 25 horsepower I can't remember. It's got two fuel tanks on it, though, where you got a valve there. Uh, of course, this one does not have the twill tires, so that's that. That's been an issue uh, for us. And when you don't have the twill tires, the deck setting is a lot different than when you do have the twill tires. 
because if you put this on a on a three or three and a quarter you're cutting low if you put this on that same three three and a quarter uh, you're cutting pretty high so yeah i'm gonna do a little mowing test right down through here and we're gonna see so let's folks it's gonna say well that's not really a fair comparison ray uh well it, it is a fair comparison because that mower is what it is and that mower is what it is and i'm not i'm not selling either one you know i'm just you know uh information it's about info man so yeah so yeah Y'all holding us up, man. All right. Same thing. Now we're going to get on old school here. But this one. It's really good to be as old as it is. I wonder how old it is. But this is on three and a half. That's on four and a quarter. That's a that's a a pretty big difference. And I'm thinking it's because of the twill tires don't give it, the air pressure in these, and that one determines a lot, right? So yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, that's uh, that, that's that's all, that's all I got. So y'all, so you guys are not gonna believe how many hours are on this machine. 
crazy, y'all. And it just it just reedifies what I'm saying. That once you buy a top a top mower. Turn the key on so y'all can see the hour meter here. It just reedifies what I talk, what I've been talking about, especially the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know that once you buy a top mower, and this is considered a top mower, at when it was when it was uh, first put out. It's an old mower now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but the hours on this machine is phenomenal show you what kind of hours you can get out of a machine like this do y'all see that that is not a lie that's 7955 hours and they have never replaced the hydraulic pump drive motor or nothing they fixed the leak it had a leak over there but you know a leak is we're talking about seven seven thousand nine hundred and some change so that tells y'all you know my x marks on none of them uh, one of them has three thousand and the other one has two thousand so don't tell me i can't get another another two thousand hours out of each one and put them at five thousand hours and I, I don't know, this might be the original engine. I, I, I kind of doubt it, but it might be. I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to set you guys up while I cut this front piece. And y'all can see how good this, this old, school, old school cuts, right? I'm thoroughly impressed with that, though. 7,900 hours, almost 8,000 hours. Are you kidding me, dude? That's a lot on a lawnmower, man. A lot. A lot. It's got to be the second engine. Got to be. Or the third engine. So we're over here on this one. Y'all been over here before. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the big that big 60 uh, loaner mower on this. So uh, see how deep this grass is. See see how deep it is. Look at my foot. How deep that is. You cannot take a lot off this grass, y'all. If you do, use a dummy. I'm just saying. It's a big yard though. All that down there. Y'all can see where I sprayed that bank right there. She gave me 80 bucks to spray that. 80 bucks bought, uh, bought the whole thing of spray. Uh,
Y'all see? That's what that damn, that's what that damn Tiger Cat did. Yeah, 7,900 hour machine. That's what that thing did, y'all. It almost makes me think that I need to reset this adjustable ba baffle on this mower. Because that machine, that Tiger Cat cuts a lot better than this Turf Tiger. A lot better. It don't leave nothing, man. Look at that, dude. Sweet, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's wrap on the day, man. Uh, let me plug the camera in. Uh... There. I need to clean this truck out, man. Uh. Gotta order me a Sammy, man. Oh, man. Oh, we busting ass out here, dude. Ray Ray killing it out here, y'all. Unfreaking stoppable. Bye, y'all. I don't know what it is, man. I'm pulling up to the house. It's Saturday afternoon, hot as hell, and it's Sammy Time Saturday, y'all. See ya.